Being in a foreign country, the self-doubt and the questions start to creep in my head. There wasn't a day, there wasn't an hour during that time where I didn't think, did I make the right decision? Am I doing what's right for me? Am I doing what's right for my family? Is the NFL gonna happen? How do I continue to push forward here, knowing that I was possibly leaving the opportunity of a lifetime on the table? My son was born in Nigeria. His real name is Ari One Adiyami. Uh, most people call him Adi. I was 10 years and three months old when I came to the United States. Coming from Nigeria, color doesn't matter because everyone in Nigeria is black. The doctors are black. The lawyers are black. The people who clean the streets are black. It was the first time that I realized that I was a minority. And then being Muslim and being an immigrant, now you're dealing with being a triple minority. Adi will never give you an emotionally charged answer. Even me being his best friend, I, I don't get to see that often. At that time, outside of the family that he had, he didn't necessarily have a community. American football was his way to get in where he could be kind of one of the boys. Growing up, the first thing you do in the morning is to wake up and pray. We are from a Muslim background, and that teaches discipline. They wanted me to learn religion. They wanted me to learn gratitude, most importantly. They wanted me to develop a hunger. The NFL dream came into focus my freshman year in college. I led our team in interceptions. I was a preseason All-American. I was now on the radar of NFL scouts. The NFL was the ultimate dream. But you know, this is a very competitive game. Welcome to the 2012 NFL Draft. This is an exciting night. Draft day, I think I'm getting drafted. The first pick in the 2012 NFL Draft. The 59th pick. 63rd pick. 187th overall pick. And it doesn't happen. It's a crushing day for these kids that didn't get drafted. I get invited to the Giants mini camp. They say, thank you for coming, but stay in shape. We may call you if someone gets injured. The following year, I go to another mini camp with the Detroit Lions. From both mini camps, we get the same message. Stay in shape, stay ready, and we'll call you. It was now April of 2013. I hadn't played football since December of 2011. NFL scouts don't like to see you not play football. They want to see film. They want to see you continue to play. So I needed to get on the football field. My name is Sato Fujita. And my friends uh, talk to me about uh, Adi. He's a very clever player, smart player. He's very friendly, but at the game time, he's kind of an animal. So that uh, impressed me a lot. Coach was saying Japanese football in the X League is a perfect opportunity to continue to play. I cannot go another six months. I cannot go another month without playing football. I thought it was a step in the right direction to get into the ultimate goal. What's the ultimate goal? The ultimate goal is playing football in the NFL. That's, that's, that's the, yeah, that's, that's the ultimate goal. He said, I'm going to Japan. I'm like, don't go to Japan. You're going to get the NFL again. I said, no, mom, I already signed up. I said, you know what? I don't know what God has planned for you. I will let you go and God will bless you. The immediate barrier when you come to Japan is the language. You can't read any of the signs. As a Muslim, right, the first sentence I needed to learn how to say was, 
I don't eat pork. This is pork? That is an essential part of the Islamic religion. We do not eat pork and we do not drink alcohol. I go to the grocery store and I'm like, what, where is bread? Where is bread? Being in a new country by myself, you know, you're seven, 8,000 miles away from your family. There are times where the loneliness really hits you, but you just try to, you try to make the best of it. 2013, Fujitsu Frontiers was over 29 years, 30 years その American football is niche but but heavily ingrained into Japanese culture. The Fujitsu Frontiers is a company team. On the days that you are not practicing football, you are working within the company. All these Japanese players, the majority of them are working nine to fives or nine to nines throughout their whole their whole careers. The rules are the rules. Everything is extremely strict. With that cultural difference, I began to really question whether this was the place for me. Football is a game of disrespectfully being respectful. I'm trying to knock your head in, and if you're not my teammate, I might not pick you up. You know, so coming to Japan, it's a society that's based on respect. How do I switch that mindset and figure out where the beautiful game of American football fit into this culture? Obik is, I would say, the arch rival of the Fujitsu Frontiers, and they're probably the most dominant force in the X League. It's the rivalry when it comes to football here in Japan. And going into that 2013 season, you know, we we're on our, our way to a, a four-peat. We want to win, but to do that, we have to go through Obik. So in my mind, we had it all mapped out. We're going to beat you, 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 and we're going to roll all the way to the championship, beat Obig. Thank you for coming. I'm going to the NFL. Goodbye. Before we can start this journey to winning a championship, there was just this one thing that we had to do. There's a saying, a wise man climbs Mount Fuji once, a fool climbs it twice. It's just a constant walk. Uh, upward where you're trying to decide whether or not you want to give up or not. So I didn't think climbing this mountain would be any problem for me. I'm doing step ups, I'm doing high knees. As we got closer to the top where the air was getting a little bit thinner, Adi at that point, you could kind of start telling that he was just having a hard time. I start to feel pain on the left side right next to my stomach. <gasps> I feel weaker and weaker and weaker. We knew there was something wrong. And that's where we're like, all right, like we need to get back down. Adi 
言い出して「今から病院に運ぶから来てくれないか」っていうことで。So, mind you, Fujita san has to drive four hours to the loading station of Mount Fuji to come get me. And we get to the hospital. They're like, it's just altitude sickness. You're climbing a mountain. You're just a little sick. Rest here for a little bit. You'll be fine. It takes time. The most important thing was that I pick up the phone and I call my mom. And immediately, mother's instinct, she knew. And the next thing I said is, Mom, pray for me. I don't know what's wrong. And she just starts, she starts crying. For a mom, I, I was really worried. I was sick myself. I was really sick. I thought I was going to die. The doctor comes back, he says, You cannot go home because you carry the sickle cell trait. If you climb too fast, your body is basically working against itself. He puts up the CAT scan result. He said, Your spleen is punctured in about six different spots. You are not allowed to leave this bed at minimum two weeks. You have to sit here and let the morphine IV just drip, 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 drip until you start to feel better. Then we will start to lower the dosage. I was 185 pounds at the time. In four days, I was 170. It looked like I had just like skin and bones. The gratitude for Fujita san looking after me. Coach, we need some medicine. Coach, I need this. Coach, I need that. I felt indebted to him and to his family for the courtesy and the love and the care that they afforded me during that period. They took it upon themselves to take care of him. Even without knowing us, I believe from the bottom of my heart, there are angels that God sent to Adi. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 When I left the hospital, the team created a plan for me to regain the weight, start to walk, walk faster, start to jog, start running, start doing drills, and then start doing football movements. Now I'm connecting with the players a little more. I'm learning a little bit more Japanese. I'm being invited to dinners and connecting with coaches. And the tug of war was no longer there. It became, teach me what you know, I teach you what I know, and maybe we can build a relationship. Because if you build a relationship, the wins will come. It's the Japanese concept of ikigai, which is the perfect blend of doing what you love and loving what you do. アディが体調悪いところからチームに戻ってきたときは、なんか調子悪いみたいなところはもう全く見せず、アディがこう病院から帰ってきて、やっぱチーム的にはアディがすごい必要な選手っていうこともあったので、でアディがいれば勝てるっていうのはみんな分かってたので。That 2013 season, the way it was going, halfway through the season, we knew. We were probably going to meet Fujitsu in the finals. And that pressure was building. Adi completely took over on defense. Because of some of the plays that he made, they were just still sticking around. We're down with, I believe, three minutes left. We needed to get the ball back to give our offense another opportunity to score. They decided to test me and they threw a goal ball. Immediately I'm backpedaling, I open up my hips and I don't even find the wide receiver. I find the ball.
our sideline erupts like, oh my God, we're gonna win this game. ただ結果はそうはならなかったんですけども。こう今までの一年をこう否定されているというか、すごいショックだったことを覚えてます。はい、I felt I felt bad for me, but most importantly, I felt bad that I couldn't help Fujita-san accomplish the goal. After that season, there was murmurs around the locker room for Fujita-san. He needed to win a championship very soon, or they were going to move on and look for the next head coach. I wake up and I have several missed calls. A couple of those missed calls are from the Detroit Lions. I'm like, oh my God, here's the opportunity that we've been waiting on. It is here. I pick up my phone and I call the lady from the Detroit Lions, and she's like, "Yeah, is this、uh, our real one?" I DM me. I'm like, "Yeah, this is this is me," and they put the player personnel on the phone. Hey, listen, Ani, we have an opportunity for you here. We've got a defensive back went down to training camp. If you think you can get here tonight, we can evaluate you, and you can be on the field playing with the Lions tomorrow morning. For me, this was this 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 was it. This was the words that I that I've been waiting to hear. And I'm, and I'm like, oh no, I'm, I'm here, I'm here. So what do you think? You want to fly out of LA or San Diego? The way he was brought up is not going to drop Japan and go to Detroit. It was a no-brainer. It was a no-brainer. I felt that I was indebted to Coach Fujita-san for everything that him and his wife had done for me. Fujita-san to me is everything in every regard that I could hold anyone in my life. Regardless whether he went there or not, his dream was realized. He was called to come and play in the NFL. In 2014, Fujita and Obik, we met in the semifinals. By defeating us, it was. Getting over that hump, and they never looked back. Adi が来た二年目ですかね。二千十四年に初めてチャンピオンシップに勝つことができて、ものすごい充実感というか、あ本当に心の深いところからあ良かったなっていう。There was all this like pent up pressure. That win released it all. That's when we got to see the Fujitsu that we see now. Now we've won seven out of the last ten championships, and we've gone to the championship game every single year. My time in Japan is bigger than football. You start to build these relationships here. You start to build family. I realize that I like living here. The, the attention to detail, the Japanese mentality, their approach to family, their approach to business, their approach to respect and values. The concept of ikigai, to love what you do and, and do what you love. Japan is a part of who I am. Japan is my home. <laughs>